Okay, we're going to get back to KVU's Pamela Combe, who is joining us live from the Capitol with more on Attorney General Ken Paxton's impeachment. Hi, Pamela. Derenisha, good evening. Well, after hours of debate, an overwhelming majority of the Texas House voted to impeach Attorney General Ken Paxton, as you said earlier, and the vote was 121 to 23. And this came just two days after the investigative committee issued the 20 articles of impeachment. There have been 121 hours and 23 nays, two present not voting, three absent. The resolution is adopted. A stunning vote just two days before the close of the legislative session. The Texas House adopted the 20 articles of impeachment against Attorney General Ken Paxton. This comes after years of scandal, criminal charges and corruption accusations. These are not, are not new charges. Uh, again, they uh, originated in 2015. During debate, Austinite Robert went to the Capitol in support of Ken Paxton. This comes after the attorney general asked supporters to go out and protest. Peacefully come let their voices be heard. But others also went in opposition. I felt compelled to come out here. Um, I pulled some cardboard out of our recycling and made a couple signs and to express how I feel. While some wanted the impeachment, Robert. Attorney General Paxton has not had an opportunity. He was not allowed to defend himself. Um, yesterday when these charges were brought up um, and so I think he's being railroaded and I think that's a, a travesty of justice. Paxton called this quote a politically motivated sham but others disagree. Ken Paxton was impeached by fellow Republicans. But it's a crack in, in the legislature here that the Republican-led committee actually pushed this forward for a vote for impeachment. Those in support feel justice was done. I enjoyed seeing the bipartisan process of this and that we actually work together to accomplish something. Now the next step is a trial in the Senate. If Paxton is found guilty by the Senate, we can expect his suspension. His suspension actually will become permanent and also in the coming days, we can also expect Governor Greg Abbott to find a temporary replacement for Ken Paxton. Darinisha. A lot to come in this historic event. Pamela Combe at the Capitol for us. Thank you.